Hi, this is Charles Kuntz, and I'm a surgeon at South Falls. Today I'm going to talk to you about the removal of a mass that was ventral to the cerebellum in the fourth ventricle of a dog. You can see here on the CT scan where the mass is located. We also did a CT scan of the lungs to confirm that there was no evidence of secondary spread. Now we had the patient positioned with its head down toward the table, and we made an approach to the caudal occipital region. Um, now, with the head bent forward, we were able to dissect down to connective tissue, which was just over the cisterna magna in this patient. We're very carefully dissecting away this connective tissue using very delicate iris scissors. Now we're further dissecting that connective tissue away, and we can see the dura mater um, over the spinal cord. We use a high-speed burr um, with irrigation in order to drill through the bone just above the frame and magnum and um, remove that small piece of bone. Now we're using a blade to cut through the dura mater and you can see uh, cerebral spinal fluid which is leaking out and we're extending that incision in the dura mater up over the vermis of the cerebellum. Now the space between the ventral aspect of the vermis of the cerebellum and the uh, funiculus cuneatus, um, which is the proximal most end of the spinal cord, can be visualized. And we're dissecting away the connective tissue, which is probably arachnoid, um, in that space, very carefully cauterizing blood vessels that are lying between the funiculus cuneatus and the vermis of the cerebellum. Now, as we look in that hole, we can actually see the mass, which is a, probably a choroid plexus tumor on the floor of the fourth ventricle. Now, we're carefully using suction to better visualize that mass. And then when we close the vent on the suction, we're actually able to remove that mass in its entirety. Now, we're looking at the floor of the fourth ventricle just beneath the vermis of the cerebellum. At this point, the floor of the fourth ventricle can be clearly seen where the tumor has been removed. Now we're using bipolar electric cautery to just cauterize the stalks of the choroid plexus in order to avoid recurrence of the tumor. At this point, we're closing the dura mater, and um, that's pretty much it.